Hi, I'm Charity Bailey. Welcome to this edition of Sports Corner. Today we go one-on-one -on -one with Luzinger High basketball star, Russell Westbrook. Now I know you might think that life for this kid is all about the game, but we found out that there's more to him than meets the eye. Underneath the blue and white jersey lies a true Olympian. Welcome to Westbrook's world. Back comes Westbrook. Westbrook, he can rebound, he can nope. score, and he has a mad three-point shot. Big block on the play. I believe that was by Westbrook, who goes down, takes a shot. Great assist by Russell Westbrook. That's what the great players do. That's 21 points for Russell Westbrook. Good fake there by Westbrook to get open. Westbrook off his glass from the side. It's a the most difficult shot in basketball. Goes baseline. Pretty shot. Oh, great story in the day's Daily Breeze about Russell Westbrook. Everything that you read about him, it's all true. For Westbrook going down through the trees, gets the ball back. Shoots a follow away. Hey, that was pretty. Russell Westbrook burst onto the scene this season in dramatic fashion. He's the kid that few college scouts and coaches knew about, but midseason, the LA Times held him the best unsigned high school player in Southern California. By season's end, he was named the 2006 Bay League MVP and made the CIF first team. Well, at the start of the year, my coach showed me like it was something that came out in a press telegram that said I was like on the fourth or third team, and he was like, at the end of the year, they do another one. So as he told me that, I thought about it like, well, I got to work on my game. The reality is that Westbrook had been working on his game since his freshman year. Here's the move. That's two off. That looks good. Russell is probably one of the hardest working kids that I've ever had. Um, he, he, he's willing to not only work hard, but listen to the instructions that are given to him. And he, he's able to turn instructions into actions. And a lot of kids aren't able to do that. Westbrook was also able to take the fundamentals he learned on the football field and apply them to the hardwood. Russell played quarterback and running back, two positions that require strong leadership capabilities and physical strength, skills that would go unnoticed until his frame grew to match his shoe size. Like the summer, like during the whole summer, I just kept growing and growing and growing. And then just stopped. And I keep, I still grow a little bit every now and then. No matter what Russell's height ever was going to be, he was always going to be a really good player because his talent and his heart were always a large size. Gets it back to Westbrook, wants to drive the lane, stops at the elbow, nice follow away jump shot. Nice jump shot by Westbrook. As a senior on the Olympian squad, Westbrook understood what Coach Morris required of him and his teammates. Last season, the coaching staff challenged Russell to become more of a vocal leader. But according to his teammates, his actions were louder than his words. I was here one day, and coach had always tried to show me. I didn't feel comfortable, and then they were like, and then eventually Russell pulled me to the side one day and was like, shoot it like this, and I made him. Westbrook spent the most time in Coach Morris's system. He knew what was required for his team to win. But winning didn't just happen overnight. It started after each player learned the art of teamwork. Well, it feel good because I know a lot of my teammates, gonna, they always going to have my back. If my shot's not falling, one of their shots going to be falling. If that nail shot's not falling, then everybody just going to the, play that role because everybody on the team got a different role. And I think everybody know what, what role they need to take and what time to do it. Most of Westbrook's teammates considered him the star on the team and thought of themselves as the supporting cast. Every shot falls for him. If a shot doesn't fall, then as I said, we the cast, we help him, we give him time to get his rhythm. Then once it falls, it's, it's just there. It's that kind of attitude that has set the stage for some of Russell's biggest performances. His teammates say that he played many roles on this team, and so he had different personalities. Sometimes he was loud, and sometimes he'd sit quietly in the locker room to visualize the game at hand. His vision became a reality during the West Torrance game when he saw a chance to dunk the ball at the end of the fourth quarter. Here he comes, flying in for the slam dunk at the buzzer. He sealed the deal on the Bay League title and came through on something that he and his teammates had been planning for a long time. Watch, we're going to have a home game. It's going to be all the fans, everybody here. He's going to get a breakaway and do what he's doing. It. That's what he did. Westbrook always finds a way to break away from the competition, whether it be in the classroom or on the court. He has a 4.0 grade point average. 
Like when we get our report cards and stuff, they talk to us about making it better or whatever. Family upbringing has a lot to do with Russell's success in the classroom. But Coach Morris knows the discipline that is needed to play basketball. Morris says it's that same discipline that spilled over into other areas in Westbrook's life. A lot of kids, you know, go to school almost because they have to. And it, people play basketball because they want to. It's not something that you have to do. So if you're able to go ahead and go to school and, and be disciplined in that aspect, when you finally do something you want to do, you have the same discipline. Discipline is a major component in Russell's success, whether it be a casual pickup game with his brother or a practice session with his teammates. He plays to win in every area of his life. He's a natural competitor. It's a trait that father and son both share. If I lose, I lose, but I feel that I can beat you, I'm going to keep trying. I mean, as many times he didn't put hands on me, but I lose by three points. <laughs> I want to play again. If I beat him by three, you better believe he's going to come back and blow me out by 30. I don't like losing. I don't like being like the, like the second or I always want to be at the top. I don't want to be at the, in the middle, the bottom average. I just want to always be the top and just try to strive for the best. The best is what Westbrook gives to the game, and so the best is what he gets in return. At least four times a week and before every game, he goes out and shoots around with his dad to warm up his shot. Both father and son agree that perfection is the key to success. It's a certain shot that he want, and if, if it goes in, it's not a shot he want, he don't, he's not going to like it. So until I get the certain shot that he want and a certain move and the speed he wants, then I just got to keep striving to the speed that he want. If you want something in life and you want it right, you go out there and get it. Kirk has a shot blocked from behind by Russell Westbrook. That's block number 12 on the season for him. Russell's a real laid back and relaxed guy, but when he steps onto the floor and he starts playing an, another attitude or another um, mind state comes in and, and that's what being a competitor is. Coach Moore says that most great athletes have two different personalities. Not in my house. Westbrook's my teammates house. agree that his alter ego appears as soon as his feet hit the hardwood. We call him Mighty Russ or whatever. So, like when he be in the game or whatever, or even when we practice, like when he get the vibe, like it's go time, it's go time, and then Chris just scream out, Mighty Russ, Mighty Russ. Man, we all say that as a joke. What a move by Westbrook for three! This season, Mighty Russ caught the attention of larger universities after his half man, half amazing performance against Carson High School. That's the hardest game I played. Cause I was like, I didn't that game. Every like it started off all wrong. I didn't write the I didn't write the bus with the team. I didn't come to the. T I came to the game kind of late. It was in the locker room, and it was like all messed up. What started off as a shaky game for Westbrook ended in a victory for Losinger and a new record for the books. I said, Rush, you know, you had 51. He said, yeah. And then I was like, man, you're lucky. Some would call it luck, but Russell credits his success to his faith and relationship with God. God has got me here, so I just I pray every night before I go to bed and pray that good things happen for me and my family and my teammates and my coaches and pray that everything go good and just pray everything, everybody stay safe. Prayer is a regular part of Westbrook's life. He had to lean on his faith when tragedy struck during his sophomore year. His best friend and teammate, Kelsey Bars, died. The dark experience changed his life and shifted his focus. He says it helped him to see life for what it really is. Well, it made me look at it different because it was like, well, I can't take nothing for granted. So it made me think, like, I need to, to keep my head on straight, to stay focused. The yeah, that lifted me because right that day we was here. playing, like, you know, we had we had a good time and we was talking about, like, That's what we were going to do as a season then. The just like, he just fell out and then it just changed a lot of things. So, me and Daniel, we like, you know, we got to do this for him. Like, the season was dedicated for him. Last year's season was dedicated. Every season here is dedicated, as I'm here, is dedicated to him. Russell has dedicated his life not only to his late friend, but to his parents and younger brother. He says that basketball has given him a chance to better himself and make his parents proud. They never miss a game. I don't care if it's a, a scrimmage game. They never really miss no game. They always come support me and always every time I see them, it you know, makes me even more eager to play harder. Westbrook's family will continue to support him next season. 
He recently signed a letter of intent to attend UCLA next fall and says that he chose to play with the Bruins because it's a good school and he likes the level of competition in the Pac-10. I just want to thank God for giving me this opportunity and uh, thank my mom, my dad, my little brother, my coach, and all my family members and friends for coming out, see me going to college. Russell is preparing to walk into the next phase of his career, but says that the road he has traveled thus far has taught him a lot about life. He's learned that hard work, a strong work ethic, positive attitude, and fun make up the formula for success. For Sports Corner, I'm Charity Bailey.